you guys it's be your boy scotty and you're watching my review on the bad girls club season 10 atlanta episode four what's up you guys um earlier today i did my bitch are you serious and i did my love and hip-hop review now here it is for bad girls club 10 um i got to watch um starter wives confidential and all of that because that's on right now as i film this but um you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, I'm going to try to watch that and see what I'm going to do about a review on it. Also, in other um situations, I know that I was asked to discuss the Chris Brown and Frank Ocean situation, which I will be discussing in my, my perspective, which will be dropping either on Thursday or Friday. It's either one of the two. I'm just trying to, you know, push out a few videos for you guys um, or whatever. So let's get into the video, shall we? Um, this episode of Bad Girls Club Team basically starts off um, with the continuation of um, Valentina and Nicole's um, fight. And I must say, like I said last week, that Nicole beat the shit out of Valentina when, you know, the security guards was coming in and she was just beating, it, beating her all in her damn head. And I just felt like Valentina didn't have no right to come in and act like a damn fool. Yeah, Nicole was drunk as a motherfucker, but I just only feel like Valentina only jumped in because, um... Nicole was arguing with Alicia, and now she want to be Alicia's hound dog, or her, you know, her her damn hound dog, her protector, her lawyer, and everything else. Like that's like that's what I think regarding the whole Valentina and Nicole situation. She just only came in because of the whole Nicole and Alicia arguing. That's what I think, and I just really think that Valentina is a weak, whack ass bitch. I don't like her, and you know, I have a couple of friends that, you know, I have a friend that likes Valentina, and he thinks that I shouldn't have a favorite because everybody in the house is messy. No, everybody in their house is not messy, and everybody in their house ain't some dumb ass bitches. Paula isn't messy. She is cool. Shannon is not messy. Stephanie isn't messy. Those three aren't messy. Nicole really isn't messy either. The only ones that get on my nerves right now is Valentina and Alicia. Those are the ones that's getting on my nerves. Those are the main two that think that they're the alpha females of a house. And they're really not an alpha female. They're weak-ass females. That's exactly what they are. And I would never have respect for neither one of them after how they jumped on Alicia, um, jumped on Janae and threw all that shit on her and bullied her and made her leave the house. I would never have respect for bitches like that. Not in any sense. Then, you know, Nicole cries to her mother. And her mother basically went the fuck. I don't know how much she cried to her on the phone. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit my mama would have did. She, my mama doesn't really condone violence, you know, in, in the sense. But if a, if a motherfucker fuck with me, she feels like violence isn't needed. But sometimes it is in certain situations. And I know and I know that because I was bullied. And a motherfucker won't stop fucking with you until you throw them hands on them. And that's, that's what happened to me. That dude would not leave me alone. I kicked the fuck out of him and his nose and had that shit bleed. And I was in the seventh grade then. And I was scared as hell after I kicked him in that nose. But he didn't fuck with me no more. So, after that situation, uh, Shannon's boo thing, Ian, who looks like a mechanic, came in. And um, he had some plans to see her or whatnot. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she seems to be real excited about him. She can't really stop talking about him. So, that's the first. And Shannon, even though she looked like a man, and even though I said a lot of bad things about her at first, you know, due to her looking like a man, due to her looking her looking due to her looking fake and plastic, and due to her calling um Man and Tina, um, Kunta Kente, I really don't have a big problem with Shannon. I think that she's one of the most genuine girls in the house at this point, at this point in time. So, I really don't have a problem with Shannon right now. I can really dig her. I can vibe her. You know what I'm saying? She cool. Okay, um, Nicole looks up rules on fighting. First of all, she already posted some tortilla chips all over Valentina shit, number one. Number two, she looks up for fighting. She looks up some fighting rules and shit because she know that her and Valentina is going to get into a fight. So, Alicia calls Man and Tina in and only to show her that all her shit was poured out. And, you know, she, you know, Man and Tina goes crazy and shit. She takes a lotion bottle, pours lotion all over Nicole's bed and her shoes and everything else. So then, you know, um, Man and Tina starts talking shit. And Nicole overhears everything that she says because she's at the bottom of the steps. Then um, Man and Tina comes in and says she don't give a fuck. She finna fight her. She go down there and Nicole socks the shit out of her. Then they fall to the ground and they have a struggle. And I think that this wasn't really a fight, but 
Valentina came down the steps and she got punched in her face. And then that's when when they got when they started to wrestle on the ground, Nicole kicked her in the face too. The only thing that Man and Tina had an advantage of is her hair. And Nicole, and she pulled Nicole's hair out. But in this instance, I'm still gonna say Nicole won. Even though it was a even though it was a tie, but Nicole actually punched the bitch. The um Man and Tina didn't do a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of it all, she didn't win. Okay, so Shannon and Ian spend a little time in all the girls plot for Shannon and Ian to have sex so they can watch it. And they eventually have sex and they eventually watch it. And just like I felt about Stephanie and Andrea, I actually like the little dynamic between Ian and Shannon. They really do seem to like each other. And at this point, all the girls, with the exception of Paula, are against um, Nicole. And Nicole feels like she doesn't have anybody. And the only friend that she really has is Paula. So, um... Now that new girl Jennifer arrives, um, she's another black girl. Um, she kind of reminds me of Tierra, even though Tierra denied the comparison. Um, tonight she does kind of look like um Tierra in a sense, and she kind of talks like her too. She seems to be cool. She's twenty one years old. She's from California, and she's another stripper, and she's bisexual, which made Stephanie feel some type of way. She love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, Nicole. Decides that she wants to go home. She doesn't want to be in the house anymore. Um, she loves Atlanta, but she just could not be at the house anymore. She doesn't want to be there. She feels like it's a negative situation for her. So, therefore, she wants to leave. You know what I'm saying? And who could really just be mad at her for leaving? In my opinion, I think she should have stayed. Because I like her. And I, and even though I didn't like her at first, I, do, I did grow to like her because she don't take no shit in. Because she spoke on the whole bullying aspect thing with Janae when nobody else did. So, that made me respect her a little bit more. I really don't want her to leave because I feel like she was going to be the bitch that put Alicia and Valentina in, in their places because I, I already know because I read a couple of things before the show started. Now that Nicole's gone, Valentina and man Alicia is going to get turned all the way up now that she gone and I really hate that shit. Um, so Nicole left and while the girls went out. Um, all the girls come back home only to find out that Nicole has voluntarily left the house and it really pisses Paula off and she goes home because her feelings were hurt because Nicole left without telling her. Now, do I think that Paula was doing the most when she was mad? Yeah, she was doing the absolute most. Like, okay, I understand that's your friend and she left and I, under I would understand you crying, but all that yelling and screaming and all of that... I don't think that was necessary, Polly. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it was necessary. But, you know, people react to things in a different way. I personally think he was doing the most, but that's just me. But everything was fine after Nicole called Paula and basically apologized for leaving without telling her. And she also said that Paula was her only friend. And, you know, it shows that Nicole really does value Paula's relationship and friendship or whatnot. So that was over. Um, Shannon and Ian had a little bit of trouble in paradise tonight simply because he made a comment about two of the girls in the house fucking each other and he wanted to see it and he wanted Stephanie and Shannon to join. Shannon felt like it was very disrespectful and she kicked Ian ass to the curb and she felt like this confirmed everything that she was running away from when she was 15. So that means that Ian isn't really the man that she thought that he had turned into now and now she really doesn't want to have much to do with him. And with Nicole gone... Jennifer and Stephanie discuss the next girl that's going to come to the house. And they all have a bad feeling about the new girl, which her name is going to be Raquel. And all of a sudden, all these people are really dick riding Raquel. They've been dick riding Raquel since the damn preview came out when we didn't even see that much of her. I don't know what the big appeal is about Raquel at all. And, you know, I've seen the sneak peeks of the show tonight. And I just don't really, you know what I'm saying? I just... From the way it looks, she gonna be a messy bitch, you know, from the from the shit that they shown after the show was over with. So, I don't know why everybody on Rocky Dick at this point. I really don't understand why they on her dick. But they are. And it is what it is. But, you know, they feel, but Jennifer feels like if the girl isn't on no positive shit, she gonna be the first one to pop off and she gonna have to leave the house. But that, but, you know, from what I see... Episode 5, that's when everything going to get turned all the way up. And I think that that's what this house really needs. Because this season has been disappointing in a way. But now, is I think it's going to get really good now that the new girl has come in and stirred a few things up. So. so, with that being said, this is my review on the Bad Girls Club 10 Atlanta season. 
Season 10, Episode 4. Um, follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash Mr. Underscore Still Standing. Email me at Mr. Still Standing with the G at Yahoo.com. And Instagram me at King of the South 23. Um, I got to see what I'm going to do about the Star Wives video. I got to see if I'm going to do a video for it. And then look out for my My Perspective video. And I'm really enjoying y'all commenting on the Bitch Are You Serious video. Keep commenting. And I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.